guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just gonna show you this out of this world space sort of cloud cut crease kind of look that I created for a night out. You can easily use this for Halloween or an event or something like that. So if you wanna see this look, then just keep on watching. So I'm just going to go in with my brows using my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 2 and I'm just going to underline my brow and then around my brow and then feather the front of it just to give it a sort of more natural look. And then going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the shade Taupe on my Zoeva 317 Wing Liner Brush. I'm just going to fix this on the outer corner of my brow, fixing more towards the tail end just because I haven't really got a lot of hair there. And then using the leftover product, I'm just going to feather it into the front of my brow. Then I'm just going to go in with my L'Oreal Paris Brow Artist Plumper and I'm just going to brush this through my hairs just to set my brow in place and give it a little bit more definition. This is in like a, the blondie shade, it doesn't really have a name so it's the light blonde one. I'm going to go in with my Benefit Stay Don't Stray Eye Primer on a Morphe M410 brush. The colour is in light medium and I'm just going to carve out underneath my brow and on around my brow as well, as well as setting my eye to get ready for the eyeshadow as I am doing a big eye look. And then just going to go in with my Beauty Blender to blend out any hard edges that I have made. I'm then going to go into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Novena palette and dip into the shade Soul. I'm going to take this on a Morphe M139 brush and basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to like pop little dots so I can mix it with the blue. You'll see what I'm doing when I <laughs> kind of do it more. So I'm just going to do patches and then go in with the blue and then kind of put them all together but still have their own sections. I know that sounds quite confusing but once it's blended together then you'll have more of a gradient which is mix and match everywhere of a blue and purple, sort of like the night sky. I'm then going to take the MAC Shadow Electric Eel on my Real Techniques 203 brush and then I'm going to put this where I sort of like did the gaps with the purple. I'm going to do quite a harsh pigment because obviously I want it to be quite bright and then I know when I blend it out it will go lighter. So I'm just going to pop this in all the gaps and then slowly build the pigment up and then brush out any excess. And then just going to go in with my Zoeva 231 Lux Petite Crease Brush and I'm just going to take Stars and Rockets from my own MAC palette and I'm just going to pop this over the purple as it gives like a stronger pigment and more of like a duochrome purple as well. So I thought this would be nice to just mix into it. going to take whatever's left on that Morphe brush and just brush out any harsh edges that I have made with the other colours. But by doing this I found that it just kind of blended them all together and it became like this like purple blue colour. So after that I'm just going to go back in and really build up the pigment in the sections. And then just going to go in with my Real Techniques 200 brush and really blend out those harsh edges. Um, I found that although the brush was good, I really wanted a slightly smoother edge, even though it was a harsher look. Then just going to go back into that Novena palette and take the shade base. I'm then going to go in with the brush that comes in the palette, which is like a little ended brush, and really focus that on the like underneath the brow bone and blend it out just a little bit more so it's not such a harsh edge. And then just going to go back in with my Stay Don't Stray by Benefit and get my Morphe M41 brush and I'm just going to cut my crease. Because of the pigment of the colour I am just going to go over this a couple times just because I want the base to be a lot of a difference between the two and just really show that strong contrast. Thank you. 
And then just gonna go in with my MAC P for Pink Shiny Pretty Shadow. These are the new ones that have literally just come out. I don't know if you can see, they're sort of like a glitter in a pot. And I'm just gonna take my finger and pat that on what I've previously done. I mean, look at that pigment. Um, it's a really gorgeous shadow. It's got a bit of texture to it as well. So I'm just gonna layer this up slowly with my finger just so it gives that sort of nice contrast. It is actually like a pink silver in the pan and it's got two glitters mixed together, but on my eye it looked more silver. But actually, it works works quite well with the look that I did. I'm just going to take my Zoeva Luxe Smoky Shader 234 brush and really press that pigment in a little bit more into my eye to really get that definition and shine. And then just gonna go back in with my Morphe and Real Techniques brushes and just blend out those corners where I've done the pigment from the MAC and just really get it going into each color and it makes it more of a gradient. I'm then going to go in with my Zoeva Fine Liner 315 brush and I'm going to take my Cryolin Super Colour palette and take the shade 070 and basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to attempt to do like dots and then little stars or crisscrosses where the blue bits are on my eyes to try and make them like the night sky as well as like a cloud sort of effect. I'm then just going to take that same brush and my Morphe 350M palette I'm just going to take that really light shade in the corner just to set down the paint that I've put onto my eyes. I did find that because they are oil based you do have to set them otherwise they smudge. Although I'm not happy with how big some of them are so I am just going to go over the top with my friend's little paint brush and just make small tiny dots and then just do the exact same thing with this colour. And then just going to go in with my mascara which is the L'Oreal Paris Paradise Mascara and I'm just going to do a light coat on my lashes before I put my falsies on. I'm then just going to go in with a wipe and micellar water just to clean up underneath my eye. I'm then just going to take my dull lashes in the style Megan using the dull lash glue. And I'm just going to wait for them to dry before popping them on my eyes. I'm then just going to take my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer and pop this and blend it all over my face as a base. I'm then going to take my usual double wear from Estee Lauder in the shade 3W1 Tawny and then I'm actually just going to mix in my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in the shade Medium 1.5 I can't say the name so don't ask me and oh my god, yeah I know this foundation's expensive, £32.50 a bottle I'm going to scrape the excess back up honey so I'm just going to mix them together because I do want more of a glowy look but I still want that full coverage and sort of like matte mixed in with it and then I'm just going to pop this all over my face with my Real Techniques 301 foundation flat brush. I am going to give myself a little spritz with my Max Fix Plus in the scent coconut just so it blends in a little bit nicer and gives me more of a glow. I'm then just going to go in with my Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in the shade Mocha and I'm just going to contour my face with this. So I'm doing it down my nose, cheekbones, under my lip, sides of the forehead because honey I need to get rid of that five head. And then I'm also going to go in with my Matchstick in the shade Trippin as a highlighter. And then I'm just going to spritz myself and then blend it out with my Beauty Blender because it is quite matte and harder to blend. So give it a spritz and then blend it out at the same time. So I started setting my face by accident and realised I hadn't done concealer. 
So I'm just going in with my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define in the shade C5 and I'm just going to put this under my contour, under my eyes, around my nose area and on any spots or breakouts that I've had and then blend this out with my Beauty Blender. Then I'm just going to go back in with my Fenty Beauty Invisimat Universal Powder and pop this anywhere that I need to set concealer and anywhere that I want more blurred out. And then I'm just going to go over the top with my Smashbox Foundation Powder in the shade 5. And I'm just going to pop this everywhere else I didn't set with the other powder on my Big Real Techniques brush. And then just going to go in with my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and my Real Techniques Blush Brush and really swirl that around and give myself a light bronze basically all over my face. I do sometimes in photos get flashback on my chin so I am just going to sort of like bring it and dust it all over my face. And then just going to go in with MAC Give Me Sun and I'm just going to take my Benefit Cosmetics bronzer brush and pop this for a more stronger contour down my nose, the sides of my cheeks and the sides of my forehead. I'm then just going to take my MAC blusher in the shade Melba on my angled brush which I got from Marks and Spencers and I'm just going to really lightly dust this on my cheeks. Now that my lashes are dry and stuck down, I'm going to go in with my Benefit Cosmetics Royal Lash Mascara and just really stick those fake lashes with my natural ones. I'm then going to go in with my brand new Pretty Little Glow Highlighter from Dull Beauty. I got this when I came back from Manchester and honestly it's the most gorgeous, stunning highlighter even though I can't open it. I mean, look at that glow. It's literally me in a highlighter. So I'm just going to take that on my Morphe brush and I'm just going to pop that on the top of my cheeks. I know, come on, look at that pigment in one swipe, honey. It's one swipe. There you go. And I'm just going to pop that down my nose and I'm also going to put it in my inner corner as well. Then I'm just going to take my two Zoeva brushes and take the colours that I used before on my eye, those purple and blue colours. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this under my eye and basically just kind of smoosh them together and then blend them out with the bigger brush. I'm then just going to go back in with my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara and coat my bottom lashes with it. I'm then just going to use my Boldly Bare Lip Liner from MAC. Um, I did get this kit from Manchester last week, you can get it in any MAC stores and I'll tell you about it in next week's video of when I went to Manchester. Um, I'm then just going to take Open Presence, which is a limited edition lipstick from MAC as well, which I'm going to pop on top. And then I'm going to go over the top with my MAC lip gloss, which is also in this set, um, called Holiday Miracle. I'm then just going to go back into my Super Colour Palette and use the shade 091. I am taking my foundation brush and popping that on me, but realised it didn't really pick the pigment up, so I'm just going to go and switch brushes. go in and take this red colour from my super colour palette and I'm just going to take an angled brush from Real Techniques and it is the 079 colour and I'm just going to pop this in random places before blending it in with the duo fibre brush from Real Techniques. And then just going to set that all down with a duo fibre brush and the colour Soul. And then just going to pop that over the top. You do have to set these as they are oil paint. Um, they are meant for the body but obviously like, if you touch it, it is going to smudge. So I'm just going to pop that on the red colour and then blend it out. And then I'm going to go back into that other colour that I used earlier. And I'm just going to pop that as well over the top of the purple. And then go back in with Electric Eel which is the blue colour as well. Basically what I'm doing is I'm just adding more and more pigment until I'm happy with what I've got.
I am then just going to go in and take a small fluffy brush and take this matte colour called Carbon and I'm just going to pop this in like areas just where I think it needs a little bit of darkening up and then go back in with my duo fibre brush and just really blend that out and blend it in all together just because it will just give it a little bit more definition and make the colour stand out more. I'm then just going to go in and take a spoolie and just like splodge this everywhere. I did try flicking it but it didn't really work. So I'm just sort of patting it so it looks a little bit like a cloud but also you know to add that star effect and then blending it out with my finger. I am then going to go over the top with my Benai STB07 brush and I'm just going to use this to flick paint from that super colour palette all over me and then set it with that same white colour as well. I am then going to go back in with my Morphe brush and Pretty Little Glow and pop this on my collarbones just to sort of give it an extra shine and then I'm just going to pop it in where the white was and just dab it to give it a little bit more of reflex and a little bit more definition. And there you go guys, that is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see next and if you enjoyed it, like and subscribe and I will see you guys soon.